Yeah, I mean, as you can tell, he's very skilled. Uh, he's got a nice little uh, quick release to him, and uh, um, also very good stick handler and skater. So um, you can tell the skills all there. I mean, it's uh, it's top notch as far as I'm concerned. As a guy who's sort of been in his spot a few years ago, how important is it for him to get these last few opportunities to play with the team before the season starts? Yeah, I think it's important. I think we all. Uh, you know, take preseason very seriously to the point where we want to get as ready as possible for uh, for the home opener, especially this year. Um, it's going to be a great night, so we're all looking forward to that. But, um, you know, I'm sure he's happy about being able to get back on the ice and practice, and uh, I think he's playing them out too. So uh, I'm sure he'll be happy about getting a, a, an NHL game under his belt before the real thing starts. you played so many different guys over the years. How long does it take for a line to get some kind of real chemistry, especially when parents miss so much time here? Depends. It depends on... Um, how you click right away, what kind of players they are. Um, you know, I think with us, we'll be, uh, you know, we got to make sure that we're playing 200 feet uh, of the ice, but also, uh, you know, being able to get those pucks back. That's probably the, bit, the biggest and toughest thing here at this this next level is getting the, getting the puck in those battle areas and coming out of it and trying to create those chances. So I think if we do that, we should be fine. And, Try to let our skill and uh, and uh, you know obviously Artie's a big big man in the middle, so let his size take over too. Would you give a reaction to Brian Bigelby and Yeah, I mean, I mean, Bix has been a big part part of our team for a long time. Um, you know, I think a lot of us either heard about while we we're on the ice or, or right before practice. So um, you know, that's a uh, we can give as many opinions and, and speculations as we want, but. Uh, you know that's not that's not really our job. We'll leave that one that explanation up to the hockey ops and uh, and Stan Bowman. Was it tough about that he was going through the vertigo and still going through it? How difficult it has been for him? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you go through like you go through something like that. I mean, it's never easy on you. So, um, but you know, like I said, he had some some big time performances for us, and uh, you know, sometimes um, on a day like this, you know, you're kind of hoping that no one will pick him up. He'll, do what he has to do and be back up here uh, uh, as soon as he can. You talked about how you weren't able to maybe train like you wanted to in the off season. Where are you timing wise and hockey shape going into the season? Let's see what going on. Well, I was able to train the way I wanted to. I just wasn't on the ice as much as I wanted to. So condition wise, I feel really good. Um, you know, skating is uh, is really starting to come around. I feel I feel good on the ice and. Uh, you know, my shot and my hands are probably the last things to, to come back, but those are starting to come too. So, pretty happy with where I'm at. I feel like I'm improving every day, and uh, um, you know, hoping to uh, keep getting better, especially as the season goes on.